So Danny Ainge is at it again. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Deloitte, man. And we have a breaking trade that just took place here in the NBA. Of course, Danny Ainge and the Utah Jazz are still takes me a little bit to get used to that i'm so used to saying the boston celtics when it comes to talking about danny ainge but his utah jazz they are finessing the league again so this time we're going to talk about john collins moving from the atlanta hawks to the utah jazz in exchange for wait for it wait for it rudy gay and a future second round draft pick that's it yes i know so before i get into my thoughts about it just don't mind the lighting coming from over here. My daughter's right behind me. She's watching TV. So there's a bunch of lighting taking place in this room. So hopefully that does not bother you guys too much. But we had to talk about this trade because this was a finesse. This was a fleece. Danny Ainge got John Collins for nothing. And the reason why this is a big deal, in my opinion, is not because they just got John Collins for nothing. And yeah, maybe they caught, you know, uh, Atlanta where Atlanta's just desperately trying to get out of the the sat the tax situation they're trying to desperately clear cap space but it's because what Atlanta has been asking for John Collins all along is nowhere near what they got for him so it's no secret that John Collins has been on the trading block for about two seasons now maybe if not even more like the man has lived on the trading block and the reason why he was never traded is because they weren't asking for Rudy Gay and a second round pick there's always been a first round pick and a player or maybe multiple first round picks at one point the rumor was that they were asking for a similar package towards that rudy gay got from utah and that was never going to happen that was an anomaly what rudy gobert got you're not going to see that too often in the nba but that was the type of stuff atlanta was looking for in the past for john collins now, I am a big fan of John Collins and his game, and I think he's worth a first round draft pick. He is definitely worth Rudy Gay in the future second, and that's why I love this deal for the Utah Jazz. And they, like I said, just finessed the Atlanta Hawks. Now, in the Hawks defense, they were pretty much tasked with this offseason. You need to get us out of the, out of the salary cap tax, and you need to drop this salary ASAP. Like, we're not trying to pay no tax money you need to get rid of these contracts so when you have that order from the top you gotta do what you have to do and you just have to get back the best return but unfortunately for them the nba also knew this as well and we all know when the nba knows your back is against the wall you are not going to get good offers they are not going to come help you out at least typically they're not going to come bail you out and clearly if this was the final you know offer that they got or the best offer that they got no team was trying to bail them out man so for Atlanta you're going into a rebuild mode the top wants you to cut ties there was a lot of the players you have you need to drop salary cap space I would not be shocked if Trey Young is shipped out as well you got nothing back for John Collins sorry Rudy Gay he did opt into his player option making a little over six million dollars a year he's not going to get that in the open market so that's smart for him to opt in and get that money but for Utah, those are big winners here. The big losers, the Western Conference, because they got to play against this Utah team who was trying to win. They have assets. They have things to give up. And they didn't have to give up any of it. And for Atlanta, I expect a full-blown rebuild. And we'll see who else is going to go in Atlanta. I don't think they're done. I don't think they're done. You don't make this type of move and keep what you have. It's going to be a fire sale, I believe, in Atlanta coming up soon. But we'll see what happens but you guys let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section below are you a fan of this trade for both teams do you think utah just finesse atlanta let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below it's d lord i'm see y'all next time peace